much. Okay, then uh, let us start our third uh, lecture. Uh, today, I would like to talk about uh, two, uh, two, two other ingredients. I did some uh, survey about uh, associative algebra and non-associative algebra and some connection and showed some example also uh, to motivate the study of deformation. To today, I will start with uh, uh, formal power series, which are the, the main ingredient uh, to, to realize the deformations. Series ring and spaces. Then the, the, the idea of uh, the, uh, the realizing deformations is based on this formal power series ring. This is what was done by, by Gersten Haber in 1964. Now, if, if, K, if K is uh, an algebraically field of characteristic uh, zero, uh, K is a field of characteristic zero, zero, then the power series are just a generalization of, of, of polynomials, but let us define the set KT like this to be uh, the set of elements, yes, of the form sum, for i bigger or equal to zero of a i t to i, where e, uh, e i are elements of K. Of course, the sum goes to, 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 to infinity. And now uh, we can, uh, we, we can uh, have operations on elements of this, uh, uh, this set. Then, uh, then if you have two, uh, two formal power series, uh, F, for example, define it to be uh, sum of E i, T to i, uh, i larger equal to zero, and G to T, and the parameter here is t, yeah, you understood that. This is a sum of b i t to, to, to i, i larger equal to zero. Then of course we can define f t plus g t. Uh, th th this is uh, using the, the linearity of the sum. This is the sum of e i plus b i t to i, i larger equal to zero. And then we can define also a multiplication um, G, F, T, G, T to be the double sum for K larger or equal to zero sum of I zero to K, A, I, B, K, K minus I, T to K. Then we have this, the, the, this, this multiplication. Then this set, uh, we, we can see that this set is, uh, this KT becomes a ring and it's, it's, an, it's an abelian group. I, I should say here that, that, that element, uh, the, this EI uh, and T commute, we assume that the commutativity. We could also define uh, a deformation theory where we do not assume that uh, that the elements of K uh, commute with uh, elements of T. Huh? This is called generalized uh, formal deformation theory or non-commutative uh, deformation th th theory. And this uh, was worked out uh, mainly by, by Bankstown. Huh? And here, uh, uh, KT uh, is, uh, is a ring. That's why we talk about uh, uh, about formal power series ring. And let me now provide some, 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 some properties. Huh? Then the first, uh, the first uh, result or, or property I would like to, to show you as a theorem that any power series Ft equals to sum of a i t to uh, 
i, i larger or equal to zero, with a non-zero free tie, free term with a non-zero free term. A zero, then A zero is different from zero, has an inverse power series F T inverse. Okay, then this is we have this condition. If 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 your formal power series has its free term A zero different from zero, then uh, then you could get uh, uh, an inverse of this belonging to 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 kt. Then you can do the proof as a, as an exercise. Uh, just just write down. Uh, just consider another gt. Uh, for, for example, gt uh, equals to to the sum of b i t to i uh, uh, or b j to t to j. Better. Hmm? Uh, and then uh, write down the fact that ft times gt equals one, and try to, to construct the, the, the elements of, uh, of such, such uh, uh, you, you identify the elements uh, uh, on t to k. And the first one, uh, the, the free term here would be clearly uh, a0, uh, b0, and it should be equal to one. And then, uh, then uh, you can you can you can say, take uh, b zero to be one over a zero since we assume that a zero is different from zero. Okay, and then you can take another uh, second equation, and then which allow you to to, to construct b one uh, uh, and etc. Okay, then this is. Uh, the, the, this is the, the, the first property, uh, and, and from this we can uh, we, 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 we can say that uh, every rational expression. Now, if you take the uh, rational fraction, f t over g t. Huh? Which ft and gt are formal power series of two power series in uh, kt. Then, uh, if uh, then here g uh, set set g to t to be sum of uh, b i t to i mm -hmm. then if uh, if b zero is different from zero then this f t over g t is also a form of power series okay uh, then this is uh, this is also an important uh, property and then you can state uh, an, inter an interesting observation, which says uh, the, that the, that this this KT, huh? we said that let's write this as a remark huh? using what we said uh, before. Then, then then this KT, you can say that this KT is a, a, a local ring. This is a local ring whose uh, maximal ideal is T to KT. Okay. Hmm. Then here the, the ideal is generated by, uh, by, by, by T. Huh? Okay, then the, then we, we have a maximal uh, maximal ideal here, which is T K T. Then this is a local ring, and local rings have they have nice nice properties. Uh, of course, if if, if we, we can also 
you say why why we do not deform using more parameters or when, why we do not take more than one parameter then the main property we will lose if we take uh, several parameters then this is this, this this locality uh, property okay now uh, we we, we uh, what, what about what about the topology of uh, of this kt then we can uh, we, we can we can consider the triadic topology here huh? uh, and the, the, this space kt could be endowed with the triadic topology what are, what about the subsets here t t to n k to t these subsets they will form a neighborhood basis of, of, of zero in, in fact we say that this uh, this kt uh, is hausdorff and complete with respect to this triadic uh, topology now uh, in order to 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 deform, this is this this KT will be uh, the will be the extension of of, of our, our field uh, base uh, the base base field. We 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 use when we consider associative or non-associative algebra. Then we will extend this this base field to 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 KT. This is what we do when we uh, would like to, 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 to deform uh, an algebra structure. Hmm? Okay, then what, now what about formal spaces? From this we can, we can, uh, we, we can deduce uh, what we call formal spaces. Hmm? Then let, uh, let A be a vector space of a K. Then we can define uh, uh, a t now formal space a t now to be uh, the set of all elements of the form sum of x i t to i uh, i larger or equal to zero as before huh? and here the element x i belongs to 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 the vector space a okay. Then this 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 vector space uh, no it's not now it's no longer a vector space but this space uh, the space a t is a k t uh, model okay uh, with the action. The action is the following of okay, a take an element in kt uh, uh, to be a t t to i and an element in a t uh, being, being x j t to j and here we are using the same the same parameter of course huh? here is over j here is over a and the the action send these two elements to the sum for p larger or equal to zero, sum of i plus j equal p of e i x j t to p. Hmm? And then this is again an element in a t. Uh, and this 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 uh, the, this action undo this a t with uh, a Cartesian model. We started with with the field K, and we, we we had this this vector space A, and we changed this 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 uh, this base field K into a ring KT, and then we 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 get we we get AT being now a KT uh, a KT model. Huh? Some observations now. Then what about A? Huh? You would. Uh, in uh, a t, then a uh, is a uh, remark here. A is uh, is a submodel of a t. Okay. Now uh, we can also uh, view a t is a t as a, a projective limit
of the of, of the spaces of space the spaces v t to n and, and indexed by n, which are uh, not v but a a t quotient by t to n plus one a t. Okay. Then now uh, we uh, would like to compare a times k uh, a, a tensor product k t with uh, a t. Huh? Then we can define uh, a map. Now let us consider uh, a map uh, f taking an element in a tensor k t. Into a t. Okay, then we can define if, if I have here x tensor lambda, where lambda is uh, a form of power series, uh, series in kt, then its image uh, here is uh, f of x tensor lambda, and, and this is just lambda x. Huh? Okay, and x in a. We multiply by some by kt. We can we can use uh, the kt model structure to define this the, this image. And what about what what about this the, the, this map? Let write the property as a proposition here. Then in fact f is is injective. Is injective, and this is uh, easy to prove. And uh, the second property, if now f, uh, if sorry, if uh, if a, a is finite dimensional, then f is subjective. It is always injective, and now it is subjective when we deal with uh, finite dimensional uh, uh, vector spaces. Which, what does it mean? It means that we can identify a t uh, now. Uh, then I have an isomorphism between a t and uh, and a times uh, oh, sorry power of a tensor product k t. Okay. Hmm? Then we, we can even have this identification, but in general, this is not this is not true. I mean, we don't have isomorphism between a t, this formal space a t, and and the a tensor uh, a tensor tensor k t. Huh? Uh, maybe a last uh, proposition, last uh, observation here. Then, if you have a basis of uh, of uh, a, if e r it is a basis of A. Then, then E I, this is a topological basis of A T. Huh? I running uh, over capital I is a topological basis of a t. Okay. The, the topological basis means that the elements of a t are of the form sum of some of lambda i e i's. Huh? Where this lambda i uh, span uh, span k t, huh? and 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 it uh, and tends to zero following the filter of complement of finite subsets of of i. This is what that it, it means. Huh? Okay, then this is uh, so some properties of this formal uh, formal spaces and formal power series, which is which is the key 
the, the, the key structure to, 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 to get this formal deformation I will talk about uh, later. Huh? Okay, then this is, this is the, the first uh, uh, ingredient. And uh, now uh, let me uh, switch to, 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 to the second ingredient uh, to, to characterize this, this formal power, uh, this, this formal deformations. The second ingredient uh, is uh, uh, the cohomology. Huh? Then the, the, the cohomology is a very, very powerful tool, which is used in many, many uh, uh, domains in mathematics. Of course, uh, it, 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 for each structure or each uh, topic, where we have some specific uh, uh, cohomology. Now we are, we are now, also for 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 for, uh, for st algebraic structure, we have uh, different the different cohomologies. Now we can focus first uh, on the on the cohomology uh, of associative algebra. And the second point here is uh, to cohomology Then uh, maybe you can recall some, some basics. Huh? Uh, what we mean the cohomology, we mean a complex. Oh, uh, sorry. Then, but what, what, what we, we mean by a complex? Huh? A chain complex a chain complex C is a sequence of abelian groups. and homomorphism then for, for example here c c n goes to c uh, n plus 1 by d n here d n minus 1 etc and here d n minus and, and plus one here, sorry. And this this uh, sequences uh, should satisfy the following properties with the property with sorry that d the, the composition of two uh, consecutive uh, operators here is zero. D to n composed with D n plus one. No, n minus one. No, plus one. Plus one here, okay. Hmm. Uh, it, it is zero for all Okay. Then these D N uh, are called this uh, this homomorphism D N are called boundary map here or co-boundary map, co or boundary map. Or operators or sometimes co differentials and uh, 
this is this is for 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 chain complex for core chain complex we have to 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 to, to consider uh, the same and now just to to to, to take d and minus one reverse somehow and see to n the right things in, in the other side. In fact, we identify the negative uh, C, C, C minus n, hmm? C uh, indexed by minus n uh, below uh, with C to n. And here we get for a cohomology dn, C n plus one, etc. D n plus one, etc. Huh? And here D n composed with D n minus one should be uh, should, should be zero. Huh? If you have something like this, then you 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 get the. Chain I think in the first. Sorry. In the first in first part you have defined the uh, quotient complex. I think. Uh, this is same, right? The two complex. This is same, essential same. This is this is a code. This is a core chain complex. So sorry, but I didn't catch your question. Uh, in the first uh, first sequence, you wrote C n to C n plus one, but uh, yes. For chain, this is chain complex or core complex. Chain chain complex. This is. Uh, okay. Uh, then. Uh, uh, it will be minus one, right? C n to C n yeah, minus yeah, one. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah mixing both. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah it's not, I miss one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, in, in fact, uh, for, for cohomology, we, 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 are, we are mainly interested in, in, in core chain complex. Huh? And then now I will, uh, I will define uh, the core chain complex. Uh, uh, with respect to 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 associative algebra try to again and if, if you have this this uh, this then what we uh, get is uh, we, 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 we consider uh, as here n cocycles, huh? n cocycles, z to n. Huh? This, uh, this will be the, the, the kernel of d to n. Hmm? And uh, n co-boundaries. There is hmm? B to N being the image of D, uh, D to N minus one. Huh? Okay, then it is clear that, uh, that, that, that here that B to N is included uh, in Z to N. Why? Because here the, an element in B, in B to N is of the form DF, hmm? D, uh, D to F. If, if I apply again, the, this is d n minus one to f. If I apply d to n to this, then then th this is zero because uh, d to n composed with d to n minus one, this is zero. That's why then we have this situation. And then we can take uh, the quotient and we will call the, the n cohomology or n cohomology group. The, the nth cohomology group will be the quotient that we denote it usually by h. h to n will be uh, z to uh, n quotient with b to n. Okay. Then, then this is this is a general picture for 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 cohomology or, or homology. And now we, we, let, let us try to specify this and uh, make a construction of a cohomology uh, for, for, for associative algebra. And we will uh, show that uh, this uh, fits with, uh, with, 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 um, 
with deformations. Huh? Okay. Okay. Uh, then, of course, here I didn't explain what what is the what, what, what is the what is this CN? This is a general picture. Now uh, we 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 would talk about Hochschild cohomology. Hochschild cohomology. It was defined by Hochschild around 1945. Then we start with uh, a with an associative algebra a mu. Huh? B an associative algebra and M an A B module with uh, a, a right action. Alpha L uh, oh, oh, sorry, this is left action with L action, left action alpha L and the right action alpha R. Then for N larger or equal uh, and for for n bigger equal to zero, the uh, the, the module of Hoshin and cochans. of A with coefficients in M is C H N A M, we denote it like this. And this is given by homomorphism from A tensor N to, uh, sorry, uh, M. We, we consider all linear maps from, from A tensor A tensor A N time in M. Then this, this homomorphism define the, the N cochains, the whole shift N cochains. Hmm? And the, now the co read or the differential here, The boundary map this is this is a map delta which goes from from c n h a m into uh, c h n plus one a m then to an uh, n Linear map from A tensor uh, A team. We can, we can view it that instead of taking tensor product here, we can take uh, uh, products and, and talk about n, uh, n linear maps here. Huh? Okay. Then uh, uh, to an n linear map, we associate uh, through this delta an n plus one linear map, and it it should uh, and then this delta. Is defined in the following way: then delta n to to, to phi, hmm? and then this is, uh, is, is equal to to alpha l, composed with uh, the identity on a tensor phi plus the sum from from one to n. 
of minus one to i, i composed with uh, the identity on a tensor this is i minus one time hmm? this identity tensor mu tensor the identity on a the times tensor and uh, yeah maybe I should write it here this is the identity on a tensor i uh, minus one time. Huh? And, and this is the identity on a tensor uh, n minus i. Then you have this a tensor a tensor n minus i time. And here uh, this is i minus one time. Huh? Plus minus one to uh, n plus one alpha r this left action composed with phi tensor the identity on a huh? and this for uh, th th this this is uh, this uh, cabondary map is defined for an element phi belonging to uh, to c n h of a m Okay. Of course, uh, one can define, or one can check that, uh, that that this delta, this delta n, satisfy of delta n plus one composed with delta n equals zero, and you can do it as an exercise. Okay, it takes time. Hmm? But if, uh, if you are brave, you can uh, go ahead with. And it's a good, it's a good exercise. Huh? Okay. Uh, then from this, we can define uh, the the Horschel cohomology. The nth uh, group of Horschel cohomology A M A with of the algebra A with values in the bimodal M is uh, exactly the kernel is defined by the kernel of delta to n quotient by the image of d uh, delta, sorry, to n uh, minus one, okay? Then this is a, a very general definition of uh, the Horschel cohomology, but in fact, uh, for, for, for deformation theory, we don't need to, to, to consider this general situation, but, but only uh, the, the quotients, uh, with values in the algebra, because the algebra could be viewed as a, as a, an A by module by the multiplication, left multiplication and the right multiplication here. Uh, and in fact, what we, we are we are interested only in in H. We are interested for, for deformation theory. We need the groups, the, the Horschel cohomology with m equals a. Hmm? Okay. And uh, for for this, maybe maybe I could give you again the definition. Then maybe in order to have it uh, for, 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 for dealing with the, the deformations, then uh, if, if I uh, write now delta n of phi, now I apply it to, th this, is, uh, this is an n plus one uh, linear map, huh? then it should, it should be applied to x1, Tensor, but maybe, maybe it's better maybe write it this way, x1, xn plus one. Hmm? And this uh, would be, should be mu of, if now I have just, I will apply this 
uh, I will uh, apply this, this formula. I will rewrite it now with uh, m equals a. And of course, this, this alpha, uh, alpha to L is just a multiplication. Huh? And alpha to R also is a, is a multiplication. Then this is mu of x1, sorry, of x1. Uh, x2 to x n plus one plus sum one to 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 n of phi to x one x i minus one mu of x i x i plus one x i plus two to uh, x n and uh, sorry i missed sign here this is minus one to i hmm? and the last term is plus minus one to n plus one mu of phi of x1 xn xn plus one okay mm -hmm. then here is the again z to uh, the whole z to n the n cycles then we when we deal with uh, homology with values in A, we denote it in this way, is that N to AA. And this is, in fact, just uh, maps from A tensor A P time to A, huh? such that delta N of phi is zero. Hmm? And what is B to N of A, A? Uh, and this is, again, the maps phi from A tensor A, P time to A, such that this phi is uh, expressed as delta of n minus one of some f, where f with f belonging to, to c n minus one a a. Yeah, uh, yeah, this, this uh, here c are the cool chains, huh? Okay. Then here, uh, the, the quotients are C N A A are quotients. Okay. And uh, the cohomology group, of course, as I said before, this is H N. Okay, we, but we can write it also H H for Hochschild cohomology, A A, and, and, and this is Z N A A to the quotient by B N A A. Hmm. Now let, let us uh, consider so some some particular cases. What is what is H zero here? For n zero, then this h zero, uh, this is the this is the center. Huh? This h zero would be the, the set of elements x belonging to A such that mu x y. This is 
same as mu y x for any y in A. Huh? Huh? And this is the center of A. Okay. Hmm? Uh, wh what about H1? Uh, hmm? Or uh, Z1 first? Huh? Z1 of A. A. Huh? Then this is uh, given by the maps F from A to A. Huh? Search that. Now if, now, if we want to write down uh, what uh, I mentioned before, then uh, get F. The condition here is that F of uh, mu x y, this should be uh, mu of f x, I write it in this way, y plus mu x f y, huh? for, for any x and y in, in, uh, in A. Hmm? And of course, this is the set of derivations. Huh? This, this, this set gives what we call usually derivations of A, okay? And, uh, and and if we want to have this uh, H1, uh, H1 of AA, then this is, uh, this is the set, is the set of uh, derivations, modulo internal derivations, is the set of derivations. Modulo, internal derivations. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and the internal derivations uh, are the derivations uh, of the form F, which are FA for A uh, belonging to uh, A, FA of the, are of the form FA, we find the AX, this is AXA minus I, a x huh? okay this is the internal derivation huh? you uh, as exercise maybe for tomorrow uh, you, you can try to to write down uh, what is b2 and what is z2 huh? and we need also b3 uh, and Z3. Huh? This is the only uh, the elements of the cohomology we need uh, for, for, for our deformation theory. Huh? Okay, now uh, I, I, I would like to, 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 to define a very important tool also, uh, which is an algebra, a graded algebra defined by this, this, this cohomology. Uh, and what I want to do now is to define the so-called Gersten-Haber Gersten algebra. Which is uh, strongly related to, 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 to deformations. Then, uh, uh, in fact, we define two maps uh, on these goal chains. Huh? Then, of course, the, 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 we have C, this goal chains of A with values in A. This is a direct sum of, of C and A or N larger or equal to, uh, to zero. Huh? Okay, then this is a graded space. Huh? And now we define two operations. On C A A, huh? and the first one is the circle, which uh, which is defined on C D A A, 
times C E A A, and it goes to C D plus E minus one A A. Hmm? Okay. And how how is it defined? Now I have here an, a, a, a D linear map and uh, E linear map C. Huh? And uh, the image is a, a D plus E minus one linear map, which I denote by maybe I should put a G here. Uh, it's not a composition. Uh, it's just an operation uh, defined, it was not denoted by by a circle by Gerson Haber. Now, now let, let, let us add G to separate it from, from a composition. And uh, for Gerson Haber, uh, how is it defined? Then phi circle G, C, then it applies to, to, to D plus E minus one elements. Then let, let, let us apply it to, to to x1 x d plus e minus 1 hmm. and this is a sum well uh, you, i going from 0 to d minus 1 of minus 1 to I e minus one hmm? phi phi of x one oh, uh, x i. Psi of x i plus one to x i plus e, etc. Okay, hmm? this is uh, this is the definition of of, of the circle, hmm? and uh, let, let us just check it with three elements. Huh? Hmm? With d equals if d equals two, oh, uh, time is running. Okay, d equals e two, then 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 d plus e minus one. This is three, and then phi composed with psi of uh, x one, x two, x three. Huh? Then this is phi of uh, zero, and then phi of, uh, of psi of x1, x2, x3, hmm? okay, minus phi of x1, psi of x2, x3, hmm? okay, is it clear? This is the first operation, and then then, 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 if phi equals uh, psi equals mu, huh? then this is uh, this uh, mu composed with mu. Then this is exactly the associator, right? Hmm? Now the second operation. Uh, this is uh, denoted by 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 uh, the bracket. And let us add also G for Gaston Haber. Uh, and again, here it's a, it's a map going from D, C, D, A, A times C, E of A, A into C, D plus E minus one A, A. And this, this bracket, phi psi G. Then this is uh, defined as phi composed with this uh, Gerson Haber circle, psi minus, minus one to E minus one, D minus one, psi Gerson Haber circle uh, phi. Huh? It, it, it's a graded commutator. Huh? 
And now, what about the, the structure of this C, of this C, ah. Expensive, some problems, okay, okay. C, A, A, uh, sorry, the C, A, A with, uh, with the circle, then this is a pre-Li algebra, is a pre-Li algebra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. then, the, then this pre-Li algebra appeared first here. Huh? Uh, I, I, I define this pre-Li algebra. And uh, now if I consider C, A, A with the bracket, of course, the commutator, uh, but here we have a graded commutator, then this is, is a graded uh, Lie algebra, is a graded algebra. Hmm? Okay, this is a really important and interesting observation. Uh, then uh, two, uh, two, two, two more uh, observations uh, in this last minute is uh, now if I have a mu, oops, as, as I mentioned already, if I have mu is a true co-chain, hmm, like a multiplication, is a multiplication somehow, oops. then the bracket mu, mu j is zero, this is equivalent to say that mu is associative. And the, the second observation in the last today is if we have mu an associative algebra, hmm? uh, then, then now if, if I take uh, and, and phi uh, is an n cochain, cn of AA, hmm? Then this, the bracket of mu with this phi, this is exactly delta n of phi. Huh? And I stop here. Huh? This is, now we will use this, uh, the, 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 these properties and promise next time I, I define uh, the deformation of algebra and I will fully use this, uh, all this uh, stuff I, I defined uh, during these lectures. I stop here. Thank you. And uh, your questions are welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Very nice. So, are there any questions or comments? Someone in the room, perhaps? Oh, we have a question in the chat. It's oh, okay. from Ratan Lal. Um, the question is, can you provide an example? An example of what? Example of what, Ratan? Uh, he may be writing right now in the chat. Perhaps he has no sound or something. Perhaps he means uh, an example with a specific algebra. You mean the... He said, uh, an example of the graded Lie algebra is the question. Ah, an example of a graded Lie algebra? Then, th then this is an example of a graded Lie algebra. In fact, what, what we are doing here, we, we are just considering uh, maps. Huh? Then, then, then your, your, your space, your graded space is uh, here, the, here, your graded space is CAA. This is a graded space. Huh? And on this graded space, you define a bracket for any, uh, for in fact, for 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 any uh, for any associative algebra, huh? for any associative algebra, uh, you, you you define uh, you, you, with the multiplication mu. You 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 define 
like you, you, you define the bracket uh, as follows, uh, as, as it is mentioned here. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. And uh, this uh, satisfied uh, graded Jacobi condition is, is also graded skew symmetric uh, and so on. Huh? This is an example of graded Lie algebra, but graded Lie algebra, of course, the first examples of graded Lie algebra are Lie super algebra, and you have plenty of examples. I mean, uh, uh, if, if you take uh, matrices, uh, you, you have this this uh, OSP one to uh, Lie algebra, which is finite dimensional and a nice example of uh, of Lie super algebra. But we have plenty of Lie super algebra. They are classified sometimes and etc. But uh, but. If you want just an example of the graded Lie algebra, which is famous, this one is uh, the example. Okay, any more questions? I have a question. Uh, hi, answer is Sergei. Sergei Sylvester from, from Sweden. <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, well, I uh, just might be useful to this discussion about graded, uh, graded by what here, because uh, be, be, because uh, 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 you, you can grade in in a different ways, and uh, and, and here uh, there are uh, two or several yeah. Yeah. Uh, different yeah, gra gradings you can consider. So 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 when you say graded Lie algebra. Uh, it's either you say super algebra, so it's a two graded, or you say that it is graded by Z, uh, or it's graded by Z2, say cross Z2, Z cross Z. Or what, what, is, what is the grading when you say graded Lie algebra that you consider here? <clears throat> yes, thank you, it's okay. Yeah, the, the grading here is over Z. Huh? Over Z, but, yeah. but, uh, but since you have in the, in the commutator bracket, uh, since you have a factor minus one, in power, then you might uh, sort of split it and uh, introduce maybe super algebra. So Z2 grading here as well. I mean, it's not over Z2, it's, it's over Z. And of course, all this negative part, you, you have, you just assume that the, 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 the sets are, are, are zero, are identified with zero. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, the bracket is commutator and anti-commutator. Depending on depending on whether power uh, e minus one times d minus one, which you have on the screen, uh, is or, is order or even um, integer, and so so since you have commutator bracket is just commutator or anti commutator, you you can split it uh, uh, according to that into into components. Uh, uh, components. So the question is whether whether this one is. Uh, at least super algebra or or some uh, or, or no, it, if you if split according to the uh, parity of e minus one times d minus one or not uh, how no no it's, you... it's not it's not it's not it's not Lie super algebra it's it's a, a graded Lie algebra with the group z uh, because here uh, you, you, your components are are, are c n uh, and uh, and the elements in C n are of degree n, uh, degree n. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, and of course, you can you can check easily that uh, if if now instead of considering the phi psi, you can consider psi phi, then you get this minus one to to e uh, uh, to, to 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 e times d something like this. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not, it's not super because if, if you if you say it's a super the algebra that you have only two, 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 two parts, and then you have only degree zero elements and degree one elements. But in this case, no, no, no. you have to group. No, you have what I mean is that you group your components, you have a direct sum, yes. and so you group your components in order in, uh, in, two, in two parts in, uh, in, in such a way that the bracket which you, which you get is uh, according to commutator, anti commutator, and, and it's well, a question whether you, you can do it or not. No, no, you cannot group into uh, into into components. That's okay. Yeah, because the, the we are talking about this this object, you know, and here uh, when you when you 
are talking about elements here, you say that the degree of the elements here is n. Okay. Mm. That that that's uh, now if you take an element uh, uh, here and you, you take the bracket with an element in the m, then you get something which is in n plus m uh, minus one. Huh? Um, uh, Nasser, the grading is defined here. Nasser, un, un, just uh, to 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 um, conciliate your two uh, points of view, um, actually. Uh, you, you can um, associate to any Z graded ah, yes, uh, Lie yeah. algebra, a Z2 graded Lie algebra by taking all the um, um, odd and even components in one. Um, ah, peak. okay. Yeah. And yeah, then exactly. you only have two of them. So, so yeah, you this can is what, do this uh, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this is okay. what exactly. Uh, so, so, so Frederick understood what, uh, exactly what I mean that you can split ah, okay. in odd and even and then. And then, uh, so so in this case, since you have just commutators and that commutators, uh, then 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 you can do it. Of course, if you would have some deformed, say Q deformed cohomology or some other, then it's not possible to do it. So so with the defor deformations uh, of cohomology, that is not that splitting is it doesn't give really super algebras. But uh, but in this case, since it is plus minus one in the commutator, then I don't see any uh, one can split in this two. Um, ah, okay. this okay. into. So I think I think uh, what Frederick uh, uh, meant uh, understood well, it's what I meant. <laughs> so to say, so yeah, it yeah. is a super in this sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, I agree. <laughs> you you can do it, but but in here well, 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 we are interested mainly in this Z graded uh, thing, no, not not in oh, Z yeah, yeah, because the, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have differentials there, so yeah, so you yeah, have that, uh, next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. Okay, so we have another question in the chat, which is if the construction of the cohomology group for non-associative algebras is similar to the associative case. Sure. I mean, uh, why when it exists, <laughs> of course, <laughs> uh, you don't have uh, cohomologies for any non-associative algebra. Uh, there's a lot of challenging uh, questions. I mean. For Lie algebra, it's true. Then we have the Chevalier Eilenberg uh, cohomology. Uh, if you want, I can, could give you tomorrow uh, the, the, the differential, but you can find them everywhere. Uh, but not for pre Lie algebra, uh, you have also a cohomology similar to this one. But for example, if you take Jordan algebra, we still don't have a cohomology. This is a. Okay. Are there any more questions? Ah, uh, then Friedrich will talk about the cohomology. Oh. <laughs> I've seen this yeah. one. Yeah, this week. yeah then Friedrich will talk about the uh, Chevalier Eilenberg cohomology for the algebra. Huh? But it, it works uh, similarly. I mean, if, uh, the, this construction of Gerson Halliburton algebra, you can have, you will have it also for, for, for the algebra. It's, uh, it's called Nainhaus Richardson. Huh? Well, then you have this Nainhaus bracket, uh, not, not, not Gerson Haber bracket, because this was worked out by uh, this deformation theory, uh, was worked out by Nainhaus and Richardson for, for Lie algebra. Okay. So let's thank Professor McLuff again. Thank you very much. Thank you.